I never grew up really, uh, really dreaming of becoming a professional surfer. I was, uh, I was kind of brought up in a real musical family, and, and uh, I always thought I would be a musician, just kind of in the back of my head. I mean, you always look at your parents as role models, so I definitely always thought, you know, hey, that's, that's probably what I'm going to end up like. I'm going to probably end up playing piano bars, you know, just like my dad. I used to sing with the, the vacuum cleaner. And I remember trying to match the pitch, and then also, you know, when my dad would teach me how to harmonize, I remember trying to harmonize with the vacuum cleaner. Piano was the first instrument I ever really got into playing, and um, it was—it's really, even to this day, the, the only instrument I've ever really been trained on. But I, I hated looking at music. The sheet music just meant nothing to me. It was like looking at a foreign language. I remember being super young and playing in my dad's bars and he'd have me come up during his break and play a couple tunes and the crowd would go crazy, you know, you know cause I was this little, little kid, you know, and uh, I remember, you know, after some of those times playing, people would come up to me and go, oh my God, never stop playing music, you're going to be a superstar, you're going to be so good. And, uh, and I, I remember that, that to this day and, and it still bums me out that I, I kind of quit playing for so long because, uh, you know, I think I could be that much better at, at music and maybe that much further along. When I started really, really getting into surfing is when I slowed down music. I mean, I didn't play much after my junior year. You know, that's all I wanted to do is surf and skate. Some of these are like the US Open and, and uh, Bud Surf Tour. This is the first uh, uh, contest I ever won. I was 17 and I entered the junior division and the pro division and uh, I ended up winning both. Took the check and went, oh, wow, this is cool, man. <laughs> The first song that I ever completed was on a trip to Europe. I started working out like kind of the guitar part on it and everything else and that song came together and that's when I actually started writing music. So this, this guitar here is, um, has been kind of in my, in my family for a long time. It's, um, it's an old Gibson Les Paul. It was my dad's guitar from, from back in the day. He actually, I remember him telling me he got it at a pawn shop like in the 70s. But it's, uh, I believe it's a 67 uh, Les Paul Gold Top. This one's, uh, this one will be, be in my family for a long time. This is, this is a great guitar. If I never get paid a dime to play music, it's still something I'll always do, but, um, but I'm hoping that I can justify the hours to, to actually make it a career. The album, it doesn't necessarily legitimize anything, it just makes it real. And it's not for any other reason, it's not for any financial gain, it's not for any other motivation other than it's what I do and it's what I feel like I'm good at. And if I can build a lifestyle around that, that's what I want to do. I think my dad would have been really proud of, uh, of everything, uh, from surfing and music. I mean, he's, he was a part of both worlds. I mean, he, you know, he got me surfing. He, you know, he'd take me to the beach and video me and be there right there at all my competitions and stuff. And, you know, he was the first to support me in everything I did. So I think that, you know, what I'm doing right now with my life, he'd be extremely proud of. Have I told you about her? About the way she moves? The way the lights around her there? The way her arms fall free like an angel? Like an angel calling me We're just in time but I fixed on by she smiled It's time stood still hard is that her will the next thing that I feel we were down.